one appointment with the two doctors. But first, fast your seatbelt, it's Mr. Jimmy Carr! Oh, shooting, booting, lovely. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let him entertain us, it's Robbie Williams, everybody! Showbiz kissing, all very, very good, <laughs> very good. Snakeskin, a snakeskin python. Hmm? Python. Python. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's just one python on each leg, isn't yes. it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I eviscerated <laughs> them myself. <laughs> you just pull out the body and then pull them on. Me and Jimmy backstage said we definitely would. Yeah. <laughs> Even I might. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As long as I could see the Oscars from, from where I was, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could perhaps wear them as earrings. <laughs> That'd be nice, yes. Hey, now, listen, Emma Thompson, uh, congratulations, because recently, what an honour, because anyone, I think, you just buy the star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but you got the real deal. You got the handprints. I got the handprints. In the Chinese theatre. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's more an opportunity for blackmail, that, in my view. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. They get you to dress up, then they present you with a square yard of wet cement and invite you to stick body parts into it. Don't you think that's eccentric, I <laughs> <laughs> I look at you there and I kind of think you're on all fours. It yes. seems like quite a solid, steady position. Mm, I like... have found it so in the past. And well, yet... <laughs> and yet... <laughs> Where's Glenn oh, going this? Well, I it. And yet, this happened. <laughs> yes, because I was mucking about as usual and because the press always suck any iota of joy, life, humour or hope <laughs> out of those moments, um, they said, oh, she's actually fallen over when they knew fine well I was just doing it. Oh, my God, I'm so... You know what I'm like. Yes! Because <laughs> you're not a big fan of L.A. You don't like spending that much time there. Well, I mean, I like L.A. because I've got, got, I've got really good friends there. But it's a funny old place. It's, it's just a strange place. And as soon as you get there, you think... Oh, my God, my bum looks big in this. This is the problem. Meaning L.A., you no, know. This is, this is, <laughs> it's true, isn't this it? This is the problem, because I've lived there for a long time, and they say if you sit in a barber shop for long enough, you're going to get a haircut. Well, if you live in Los Angeles long enough, you're going to get some surgery. Mm. It's the... I've had a thatch done. I'll tell everybody now. Mm. I didn't even need it. No. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. It was like... I, I had, like, three months off. I got bored. And I was like, oh... It, it's... Oh, oh, well, I, I, I'll go in. Yeah. <laughs> you got, so is I that got, new hair? No, 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 I've just got some round the got side the done. wrong in the front. <laughs> I've got, got some round the side done, and I actually didn't need it. But that's what I'm saying about Los Angeles. They're very, it's, they're very it's conscious weird. of how everybody looks. And there's yeah. also and they all a real the hierarchy as well, you know. So there's the star system thing, which we don't really have here, thank goodness. I don't like that. So they'll always find a way of making you feel bad. You know, there's always some VIP enclosure. That you're not in. That you're not in. <laughs> you, you think you're in an important bit, and then you find that you're not in the most important bit, or your ticket is green, when it actually the really important ticket is pink. They find <laughs> ways of making you feel less than or more than all the time. Uh, the I don't really approve of that. Yeah, that sounds miserable. The honest. amount of times I've turned up to places and the look on people's faces, they realise I'm not Robin Williams. <laughs> Seriously. So, uh, yeah, the, the amount, uh, I, uh, now I'm so used to it, I'm going like, Robin Williams, right? No, sorry, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously, all the time. Because yeah. uh, we knew you in this country as an actress, and then you went to Hollywood, and then we saw you, which seemed at the time sort of surprising films, like you showed up in Junior with Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger. That which was did, fun, actually. Was that fun to do? He was really, he was actually orange, Arnold. I've never met anyone who is really, truly orange. Um, I believe there are a lot of them about here now. <laughs> I blame Simon Cowell. But um, he, he was very nice, he was very courtly, in a very way. Austrian and sort of courtly. And... Yes. Can he act? <clears throat> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he was very honest about that. 
Now, listen, your new film, Saving Mr. Banks, I've seen it. It's just brilliant. Oh, thanks. It is so good. Thank you very much. Uh, it opens next Friday on the 29th of November. Yes. Now, you're playing uh, P.L. Travers, yes. who wrote Mary Poppins. Tom Hanks plays uh, Walt, Walt Disney. Walt Disney. Yes. I think we've got a picture of the two of you at a premiere. There you are. Oh, yes, you see? <laughs> Put, put the banana down. No, sorry. <laughs> I just saw these and thought they would be good props for later. Yeah, you keep them there. There you go. Lovely. Actually, they look good oh, on you. Darling. Thank you, darling. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, not so good. No. Uh, now, it's a story of getting Mary Poppins to the screen, screen, but also the story of where the Mary Poppins story came from. Sort of thing, yes. yes. So how long had Disney been asking for the rights? 20 years, he asked. And she's, she was incredibly snobby, thought film was rubbish, thought everything that Walt Disney had ever done was rubbish, hated cartoons, hated Hollywood, and didn't want Mary Poppins to be turned into a sort of pretty woman who sang, which is, of course, in fact, what happened. Um, <laughs> but she, she, she just... She was very attached to the character because she'd had a horrible childhood, and I think that an awful lot of child... Authors for children have got sort of very deeply wounded children inside that they're trying to help. But then there's this weird kind of tw very 21st century paranoia about her in that she insisted that all the meetings with mm. the Disney writers were taped. Mm, yes, and I've, I had to listen to those tapes. It was like poking hot forks into my ears. It was just <laughs> endless, and she was vile to them, and they hated her. They really did hate her, the Sherman brothers who wrote well, the Well, the, the existing Sherman brother does yes, talk about how he, yes. she was vile. She was vile. So, so it's, a fa it's a fascinating character to play. She's not a wife, she's not a mother, she's not a... She's a very powerful biddy who's turned up in Hollywood in a good pair of shoes and just gone, No! I think you're all rubbish to someone who got everything he wanted all the time. So it's, it's a great um, clash of personalities. And I was going to say, if you go to watch the film, stay to the end. Of course you will stay to the end. Mm -hmm. I meant the bit of, like... Do try and stay yeah. to the end. <laughs> Would <laughs> 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 stay awake all the way through? Yeah. 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 Yes, 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 yes that's marvellous. Stay to the end, <laughs> Graham Norton. <laughs> 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 To the end, during the end credits, they actually play some yes. of the real tapes. Yeah. Hey, but of course there are parallels. There are parallels to Ms. Thompson's life in that you too have created a magical nanny, Nanny yeah. McPhee. That's what uh, my husband said. He said, you've written about a magical nanny and now you're playing someone who's written a magical nanny. I wonder if behind every magical nanny there's a rancid, bitter, cantankerous <laughs> old <laughs> 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 Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and to do that, to be Nanny McPhee, when we see you there, like, how long does that take? Slightly less long than it takes me to look like this. Do <laughs> 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 you have to do anything? I mean, you're in Hollywood now, you're properly getting Oscars and things, so do you have to do things? What do you have to do to maintain the whole thing? Look at me. What? I don't I'm do looking anything. at you. Look, oh, I, I, I'm normal. I wow. wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't really. do anything? Really? No, well, if you're really normal, you're very lucky. You're very lucky normal. Well, it's just, it's psychotic, isn't it? Yeah. Having your body opened up by someone and putting things into it. And no, that doesn't sound psychotic. That sounds like a poison. Saturday night. Injecting <laughs> <laughs> yourself with poison and opening up your body it's to other people. Well, Come on. Right. <laughs> That's a Disney movie. Um, I want to get an eyelash off here. Go on then. That's pretend. Make a wish. But it's a pretense. I think it's a lycra eyelash. I, I don't think that's right. You can still wish on lycra. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, Robin, what are you singing for us later? I want to be like you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, another... <laughs> I, I know that's a duet, so you're not singing it alone, are you? No, I, <clears> I'm <throat> not. I'm with somebody I love very much. <laughs> hey, can you sing, by the way? Can you sing? No, no, I can't. At all? <laughs> No, but <laughs> it's never stopped me. <laughs> it's Oli, Mr. Oli Murs, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's a really and fun 
the song is from uh, the new album, which is Swings Both Ways. Uh, it's in... <laughs> It's such a good title, isn't it? Is it? A title. It's a really good title. He's offering you hope. Yeah. <laughs> Swings both ways. It's in shops and on computers and things now. And uh, the songs. He wrote a lot of these songs uh, kind of around the time that I was pregnant and after Teddy was born. Yeah. Do you have more of a sense of your legacy? What what your daughter's going to think of Daddy? Well, I'm quite an unconscious person. Person. <laughs> <laughs> what she doesn't know about See me is that I'm an unconscious Persian. <laughs> She must find this out about it one day. <laughs> but, I, you know, I, uh, this is Daddy. This is what Daddy's going to do. Daddy's always going to be, you know, say, say first and think second. So, <laughs> sorry, Teddy. Um, but, yeah, we were writing. We were writing about the time she was born. And I always see songs as, uh, you know, certain songs that I write as being um, uh, a promises that I make. I made one promise to Ida on an album called Reality Kill the Video Star, a song called I Won't Do That To You, and it's about not leaving her and not breaking her heart. And as soon as I'd written it and sung it in the booth, that was sealed, I meant it. And then I wrote Go Gentle for Teddy, and that's for all your days and nights I'm going to be there, and that's kind of like my seal and my promise. And, um, you know, because I was always... I've been really selfish and been a pop star since I was 16. I've had everything done for me. I, I know relatively little, and now I've got to look after this little person. So I was terrified that I was not going to be up to it. And, uh, and Dad's really connect with that song, Go Gentle. Oh, I've been... The, more than any other song that I've ever done, I'm having people stop in the cars or down the window and say this... You, uh, you know, it feels like the song's reached its destination because dads look at me with that knowing look in their yeah. eyes. I'm, I, I know they've, they've got it. Well, was Teddy born here? Uh, yes, yeah, she was born here, yeah. Were you actually at the, the Hello Teddy moment? Were you there for the birth? Yes, I was. Were you down the business end? Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> well done, it was like my favourite pub burning down. <laughs> Tread left on that tire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you re have you rebuilt her? Uh, we, 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 haven't, we haven't bothered rebuilding it yet. Because uh, there might be another one on the way. Yeah. I don't want to go about it twice. Yes. <laughs> but I think best to live with the ruins for now. Yeah. <laughs> Overhearing something at a doctor's surgery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just live with that, shall we? We'll just live with it. Charles, yeah. can I just have which camera? Sorry, Ida. <laughs> yeah, sorry too, you actually. have the beautiful food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. We. Rob, Rob, we did the radio last Saturday and he was going, I say things I shouldn't on chat shows. And I was going, no, no, you'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always terrified because I always end up uh, having to apologise to somebody or send a bunch of flowers to somebody. <laughs> Do, let me ask you this question. Uh, oh, did, have you ever offended somebody and then sent them flowers? I've never sent flowers. I've sent letters. Handwritten? Yeah. And, and, and how is it taken? Never really heard again. <laughs> done the right thing yeah. after you've done the bad thing same question to you uh yeah i've done terrible terrible things a lot <laughs> yeah i think fl flowers is the way forward i think otherwise i mean just send you know put some dog shit through the letterbox and just <laughs> <laughs> the other way to go is just to burn that bridge entirely and go well there's no coming back from that i bet you've never i'm always offended by my friend entire cities and towns oh, i offended the isle of man oh, i've oh, oh, arnold schwarzenegger minutes ago oh. yes! Do you know what? Constantly writing letters. Do you know what I the did? The Isle of Want... Man. Yes, I, I offended the Isle of Man. I think it was on. How? I was on crazy. Something about Ferguson, and I did. It wasn't actually. It was about. No. I think it was about whipping homosexuals on the beach or shooting Scotsmen or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to write a, a letter of apology, and I got I got a nice letter back from the council of the Isle of Man inviting me over. Oh, no. well, I might have had something in mind. <laughs> it's all right. I imagine, I imagine <laughs> a wicker man on the beach yes. waiting for me. Yes. I was on stage, I um, can't remember where it was, Stuttgart. It was somewhere that Hitler had done all his speeches from. 
Yeah. 80,000 people in front of me, and you sort of have a... Yeah, right. Robbie, live in Nuremberg. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so when you're when you're having when you're having when you're singing, you can be singing, but also at the same time you can be having a bit of dialogue with yourself. Words come out, performance happens. Sometimes when you're that comfortable, you're going, check them out. She's fit. Look at her boobs. Oh, she's seen you looking at the boobs. It's okay, you Robbie. Look at them. She likes it. You're being bawdy. You know, that kind of stuff. And then to this particular time, there's like 80,000 people in front of me, and I've gone, I'm singing angels or whatever it is. And uh, in the back of my mind, I went, uh, look at these lot. They really like me. I really like them too. That's amazing, you know, because we're brought up with the German thing, and my grandma used to have a jerry under the bed that she peed in. And, <laughs> and, and now look at all of these lot loving me, and I love them. It's fantastic here. I'll show them my appreciation after I finish singing this song. This is all going on while I'm singing, and then I, an, Angel's finished, and I go, Deutschland, Deutschland, <laughs> Wessel song. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and 80,000 people booed me. <laughs> well, it's and a I... good thing they booed. It would have been worse if they'd gone, finally, a leader. But an international incident uh, nearly occurred. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, well, wow. Where That's would we be without story. a sense of humour? Yeah. Well, Germany. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen when you sing for us later. And what's amazing, even in the huge gigs you do, uh, you do use the audience. And in the Take the Crown tour, there was one bit where you always took someone out of the audience, got them up on stage. Mm -hmm. You know the bit I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So that was this, I think this was in Sweden, where you found the girl who'd written this sign. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you did, bless you, you are so nice. Mm. You actually, <laughs> you found her. And as luck would have it, a very pert bossum. That uh, didn't go unnoticed on the evening. <laughs> <laughs> did she get the tattoo? Did she get the... I think so, yeah, I think she did get the tattoo. She looks a bit like Kate Marsh, she's gorgeous. Her name... I've got to hear somewhere. It's Looney Le... Le... Martinson. Now, the weird thing is, uh, that was in Sweden, but uh, apparently she lives in Norway. Yes. Yeah. She did, apparently she got the tattoo, and the other thing she's got is Skype. Oh. <laughs> Let's call it up now. <laughs> oh, there she is! Hi! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Hello! Is it... is it Loni? Is it Loni? Loni. You got it right. I got it right. Loni. Yeah. Loni. Okay. Loni. <laughs> Birthday. So now, uh, by the way, there's, there's Mr. Williams. He said, can you see him in the distance there? Hello, Don. Nice to see you again. <laughs> oh. So, uh, so Looney, did, did, you, did you do it? Yeah, I got it on Sunday, the day after. Okay. Now, I, I feel a bit like Dr. Christian in Embarrassing Bodies Live. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to ease your pants down... <laughs> This does not sound like the kind of thing a BBC presenter should be saying in this day and age. This is not a lot of trouble. All right. All right. So, so Lenny, do you mind showing us? No. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 this is oh, like maybe every. Maybe we... <laughs> this is like every webcam experience I've ever had. Oh, where is it? No, other, other side. Other side. It's the other side, Lenny. Move your hand. There it is. Thank you very much, Looney. Bye, darling. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bye, Looney. Well done, Looney. Looney Martin. 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 And that's actually, another level of fame, isn't it? That's yeah. a crazy level of fame. That well, is a crazy <laughs> level of fame. <laughs> now, is it true that you're very popular in Norway, Jimmy? Uh, I don't 
thinks. I mean, I thought they bought your DVDs <laughs> or something. They do. Well, people do buy. There's a lot of people get, that come to gigs here from sort of, um, all, sort of all over Europe that basically learn English through comedy DVDs. Because it's quite boring. Like, if you get the Learn English books, they're quite dull. Yeah. And if you get the comedy DVDs, you know whether you've understood it or not. Because if you laugh at the end of the joke, you've got it. And if you don't laugh, you go, I'll have to watch that again and look those up. <laughs> well, much excitement because uh, Mr. Jimmy Carr has a new DVD out. Wow. It is called Laughing and Joking. It's available now. And <laughs> now, it, it is, it's what, it's, listen, it is what you would expect, Mr. Jimmy Carr. It's very, very funny, but it is quite rude. Yeah, it's unacceptable, is what it is. OK. It's unacceptable, and I'd like to apologise to Robbie's wife. Yeah. But here's, <laughs> but here's my question, then. So, given that it is very rude... Yeah. Why the hell have they asked you to do the Royal Variety Show? Well, they asked me, the DVD's about two hours long, and I've got to do six minutes on the Royal Variety, and there are six minutes of clean jokes <laughs> off of that show. But, but literally, it was, it was a, a long phone conversation where they went, you can't say that. You obviously can't say that. That's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I don't know why people would laugh at that. And then eventually we found, like, a few minutes of, of jokes I could do. I don't think... I, yeah, the Royal Variety's quite a fun one to do, though. It's a who's nice... Doing, who's the Royal this year? I think it's Charles who's quite... He's, okay. He can take a joke, I think. But you have experience now, because didn't you... Uh, stop it. Uh, because... <laughs> It's not the worst thing I've been booked for. I got booked for the, for the big Jubilee thing last yes. year. You know, the big thing at the palace? Yeah, you did that, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the big thing outside the front of the palace. Yeah. I got there like... God, I probably got there like five hours early because oh, security is going to be super tough. It's going to be really difficult to get in. There was an armed police officer on the gates of Buckingham Palace, right? There with a machine gun in case anyone tried to steal the Queen and <laughs> photocopy ahead to make their own money and stamps or whatever they <laughs> <laughs> so I walked up, and they told me you've got to bring three forms of ID, and you've got to, it's so rigorous. I walked up to this policeman, armed with a gun, and said, I'm here for the concert. And he went, are you an Al-Qaeda? <laughs> I went, no. He went, go on then. <laughs> that was it. It was literally the full check. <laughs> wow. well, so he odd. Didn't, he didn't wow. even go, do you promise? <laughs> There must be a tear in the fabric of time, ladies and gentlemen, because we have not one, but two doctors in the house. Please welcome Matt Smith and David Tennant! Yeah. So nice. They must shove down a little bit. There you go there. There you go there. Sit. Sit. Good doctors. Good doctors. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ginger banana. Hi. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, a bit of protein. She's such a mother. Yes. Oh, David. What? Oh, your hair is so stupid. Don't listen to him now. Look. Nothing wrong with a plait down a man's back. Are you playing Heidi at the moment? I'm a Heidi car. It's nice. It's nice, thank you. Is it always in a plait or do you sometimes let it go loose? Well, it's for a play. I didn't choose to do this for my private life. <laughs> and, in, and in the play, it is, it is unleashed. I unleash the beast. But the rest of the time, it's, it's, uh, it's kept neatly back there, yeah. So, so, so all that bit's false as well, then, is it? Well, there's bits, there's all little sticky bits up there, you see? And that just, that's on the whole time. That's it. This is my yeah. life. God, yeah, and now, right. I saw pictures of you. You had less hair than that, Matt. So yeah. yours is on the way back. Yeah, I'm growing it back. Mm. Uh, why, do you, why did you cut your hair? I did a film. Oh. And, I, and I had to shave it, yeah. Oh. yeah. You bald in a film? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Smith. <laughs> 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 and is it the thing about the musical of American Psycho? Is that true? Yeah, I'm rehearsing it now. Oh, so it's that soon? Yeah, yeah. God, we're going to tech next week. I've got lots of questions for you, actually, Robbie, about singing. Right. Uh, I'm not the best for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, now, we know why we're here. We're here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. Uh, the big oh, show... Is that why we're here? <laughs> 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 we do, you know, we're here to talk about hair. Yeah. Uh, no, here, tomorrow here night, BBC house. One, 7.50pm. <laughs> now, listen, maybe I'm a naive fool. I knew Doctor Who's a big deal here. I didn't know... This is nuts. It is being beamed live in 3D to something like 80 countries. Um, it's, yeah. uh, it's a global thing. I'm glad I learnt my lines. <laughs> Are you both in it? 
Yeah. Well, hang on, didn't you take his job? I mean, I don't want to create... <laughs> I don't want to take an argument, but I do know that you're the reason he's now having to grow his hair and be in a play. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, that's part of the joy of Doctor Who, though, isn't well, it? How could you both be in it? Well, well you'll have to tune in and find out, Jimmy! It's exciting! <laughs> but, no, here's the thing. Well, here's you're here thing. right now, you could just tell us. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I heard that they were both in it, I got, like, Matt, I get it. You're contractually obliged. <laughs> you were still <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, still. You didn't have to do it. Was it hard to persuade you to do it, or did you jump at chance? No, no, I'm an old whore. I'll turn up for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, there is a bit of a precedent in Doctor Who, down the years, on yeah. the big anniversaries, some of the old Doctors have returned and oh, right. shaken hands with the current <laughs> And version. was there an etiquette? A kind of a, oh, no, no, please you. Uh, yeah. There was a bit of that on, yeah, on we My were... TARDIS, wasn't there? There was a bit of... Yeah, yeah. My, my TARDIS. TARDIS. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> then, you know, I touched that button. <laughs> David, David has his TARDIS. Yeah. And, it's, and, and, and so... I, and I had to ask you if you, if you wanted to fly... <laughs> Sounds really stupid, but if you wanted yeah. to fly it... Do you want to do a bit of flying yeah. in this bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, do you, you don't have... want to be proprietorial. No, exactly. You want to, you you want to, you be... Want to be gracious. Yeah, yeah. No, well, hang on. Now, I get why there were different doctors, but surely there should only be one TARDIS. Yes, but, wow. the, but the TARDIS regenerates in the same way the Doctor does. It's, yeah. it's, it's unique to each Doctor. Oh, I thought they just kind of redecorated it. I well, they do, yeah, they do, but <laughs> obviously it's changed through time. So when I was in the TARDIS, it looked different to the one that yeah. Matt's in now. Matt knocked through. It yeah, looks he nice did. Now. He did. It's much bigger. <laughs> it's nice, it's yeah. bits that go round yeah. and, yeah. yeah. Uh, I really like your TARDIS, though. Thanks. It's cool, I do too. <laughs> Retro, isn't it? Yours yeah. are lovely as well. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And things like sonic screwdrivers and stuff, do you have your own? Yes. Yeah. His is bigger than mine. Mine is bigger. <laughs> Mine's green, his, his is blue. His has got a bit that comes up the end and lights up. <laughs> it wrecks. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, you can't tell us anything about it, but, but, we can watch a clip now. This, the people okay. at Doctor Who, very excitingly, they've given us a special exclusive clip which I imagine is going to be amazing and many many uh, plot spoilers in it so if you don't want to know what happens do look away because this clip will probably reveal a vast amount <laughs> 400 years is that all it takes I moved on where where can you be now that you can forget something like that spoilers no 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 for once I would like to know where I'm going no you really wouldn't Well, that explained everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a real cracker there, didn't they? <laughs> so listen, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Whovians, people who like Doctor Who, they've come from all over the globe to London to celebrate this amazing anniversary. I sound like I'm making this up, but it's true. <laughs> they really have. Everybody's looking at me like, really? No, 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 Where, I'm sure I this, am. Where's this going? Uh, no, so what we're doing is we're going to let some of those people uh, ask the two doctors questions, right. see if you can answer them. But obviously they'll need somewhere very comfortable to sit uh, to ask the questions. <laughs> so uh, behold, the red chair, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Here it is. So, well, someone's um, travelled across Europe to sit in the red chair, they don't even know what it is. Not even Europe, not even Europe. Global. They have followed... <laughs> they have followed the stars across the skies. And it's not going to get here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, who's up first? Hi. Hi. Hi, what's your name? David. David, very good. Now, I believe you are a Doctor Who fan. I am. No, I really do believe it. <laughs> <laughs> they are not laughing at you, David. They are not laughing at you. Now, David, is, is it a general question to the doctors? Um, yeah, it's about the episode. Oh, it's, oh please. Oh, on you go. Um, basically, during the filming and what was released, there wasn't much seen of Billy Piper as Rose Tyler, putting into doubt in people's minds how much involvement she had. Yeah. But then during the trailer and the poster, yes. there were mentions of Bad Wolf and The Moment. Of course. I was just wondering how much you could tell us about her involvement and how it weaves into the plot of the episode. Nothing. <laughs> If he wants to see more of Billy Piper, Secret Diary of a Cool Girl is the one to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, who's up next? Who's up next? Hello. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! He looks, he looks more like you than you do. That's where your hair went. Yeah. 
Oh. That's nuts. What's your name? Uh, Matt. No! Have you have you made yourself look like Matt Smith? Uh, no, I think I was born this way. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a tragedy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where do, you, where do you live, Matt? Uh, Bristol. In Bristol? Yes. So close to Cardiff. Yes. Uh, and do, you have a, do you have a question for Matt Smith? Uh, yes, I do. In the Children in Need clip that was shown, um, David Tennant wears the fez. And I was wondering if any more hats were involved in the episode and did you get the fez on John Hurt? If you uh, stood face to face, it would look like a vase. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I mean, he does look very like you, doesn't he? Yeah. Thank you very much. Have you seen him before? N no. No. <laughs> uh, who's up next? Who's up next? Oh. Oh. Oh, there's one. Okay, one more, one more. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Stefan. Stefan, and where are you from? Los Angeles. And have you flown in for this? We, yeah, I did. Actually, I've been um, flying around the world. Uh, not to outdo the girl earlier, but I've been working on a Doctor Who tattoo, and, um, and I've been having all the doctors actually sign my arm and have it tattooed over the ideas to get them all. Oh, Christ. Um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> since we're talking about it... Wait, wait, um, hang on. Oh, oh, a moment, Stefan. Uh, did you, I, you did start... I sign your arm at Comic-Con? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I was... ambushed you in a hotel lobby. Yeah, and I was pissed, and I said, careful, because I was drunk. And, uh, <laughs> He did it. Is that where's, I did. where's Matt? I did. Yeah, Matt's right here, and then uh, Sylvester McCoy is here, and Peter Davison, and I'm actually missing David. Oh. We actually figured in a spot specifically for you to sign. Okay. Oh. All right. Is that, what's your name again? Stefan. Okay, Stefan. Quickly, someone will show you how to get into the studio. Run okay. in, quick, quick, quick. Why uh, did you tell him about Leave your Leona. jacket. Leave your jacket. So, uh, Graham, uh, tell hmm? him about Leona. Maybe he, he could sign it somewhere else. Oh yes, David. <laughs> We've seen that. You, you we thought we had a lady. Else. Why didn't we have a yeah. man? I've got a pen. You come here, sir. I'm just saying. Okay. Hello, Stefan. Hi. Come on in. Now, uh, this is David Tennant. Stefan, nice to meet you. Hey, hey, this is a good outfit. Hello, nice to see you again. How are you? Hey, yeah, it's a very you. incredible Thank outfit. You. Where did you get all this stuff? Um, well, this was actually from Debenhams. I was lucky enough to get me. <laughs> Look at these trousers! They're amazing! Definitely one of the finest stores. So I have to go in here? Yeah, that was, that was actually made spe <sighs> specifically for you. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Carr wants to ask you a question. What do you think it's going to be like to touch a girl? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm married to the Dalek. You're married to the Dalek? Of course you are. Of course you are. Of course. <laughs> Good answer. Right. I don't want to go over the lines, though. No, it's There's... OK. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. Beautifully done. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you David. Uh, well done, sir. You go down there. Don't you the freedom. There it goes. Well done. <laughs> well done, Stefan. Well done, Stefan. Well done, David. Thank you very much. That's it for this week. Thank you, my guests, Oliver and Robbie Williams. Arcade Fire, Petrolhead Jeremy Clarkson, comedian Joe Brand, X Factor Queen Sharon Osbourne, and Hollywood heartthrob Colin Farrell. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>